I just want to come. I just want to come um, over this side here. Because I know I said, so that I don't, this is how you can work sometimes. I said there's a, a guy over, a, a, a dad, dad that had drove the buses. But on this side, there should also be someone that knows a bus driver. There, okay, so I can just have this down there. So I, I was come up, I was, we have two men, both, uh, as I said, I was, we have two contacts, but I had both with the buses, you see. So just put give us a mic down here. Now, with, um, with your bus driver, I actually feel like when I talked about the card games and I talked about playing cards together, your bus driver enjoyed that, you understand? Yes. Yeah, so I told you I sorted out in the end, didn't I? That's what, we, that's what we wanted to be. So now, if I'm right as well here, um, it just, I'm, I'm not, again, so wait, come on, I'm not too sure who he is at the moment, but hopefully it'll come in yeah. a moment as it did before. But as I'm saying that, you'd also know a nurse in the spirit world as well. Yes. So both come together for you. That's okay. right. And if I'm correct, the, the bus driver and the nurse, they both know one another. It's like we've got this relationship together as correct. well. Correct. Okay, now, where the, where the nurse is, I feel it's more like a friend of yours, you understand. Correct. And would I be saying the bus driver is also a mutual friend as well? He's actually a brother-in-law. He's your brother-in-law. Okay, yeah. fine. Look, brother-in-law and friend can sometimes come <laughs> in the same way, all right? Now, if I'm right with your, brother, with your brother-in-law, he loved gambling, like, I love gambling, you understand? Yes. All right? And it's not just sometimes for little bits of money. No. I can blow big amounts of money. Absolutely. And I, I feel with him, I'm, um, again, when I talked about the, I talked earlier about the dice, I actually feel we used to carry a pair of dice. He did. Okay, and it's almost like, they're like my, they're like my lucky dice. Does that make sense? Yes. But I also am aware there with him, as I'm, as I'm saying that, that I also feel like, if this is right, I'll be really surprised. So I'll, I'll say it now, but did he ever used to carry um, an, um, an ace of spades yes. card? Because I said and that, so, I, it's and, just... And so did my dad. And so did your dad. Mm-hmm. It's just like I want to re- reach into my inside pocket and pull out the ace of, the ace of spades. Does that make Correct. sense? And I, I know people in that, like, who we used to gamble with, and they used to call him Ace. That's I actually right. think it's his nickname as well. Does that make sense? Yes. And... With him, I, I feel like I'm, I'm playing within the family, but I'm also playing in like, could be like, I'll say illegal, but it doesn't seem like it's like the casino. It seems like backstreet places, he like all in pubs. He did both. That sort of thing, all right? Yeah. And I, I know there was a period in his life where he owed a lot of people a lot of money. Correct. Okay, and it's almost like I've got people chasing me down to pay my debts off. He did. Okay, and the thing is, rather than like, working and saving money, he'd just like take bigger risks, gambling more, hoping to ch- chase and pay things back that That's way. That's correct. And all the time, and this is the thing about him, he, he had that side to him where I know I can be mischievous, but I can also be deceptive. I can lie to people and try and keep my cards close to my chest, excuse the pun. Goes with right. the game. But yeah. that's the way I am. But, but at the same time, um, you couldn't help but love the guy. That's correct. Um, and there's this very much this sense there with him where he was that sort of lovable rogue. Mm-hmm. That's um, right. But again, he just had this real natural way with kids. He did. Okay. They loved and him. when I, again, um, this is what can happen when I've got the t- two concepts that come very much together because of the similarities. When I talk about um, w- with your with your with your, I said the uncle there did the coins beyond their ears. Your uncle could actually put them between his fingers and roll the coins between his, his fingers. Yes. But he, he also used to, uh, this is, again, I'll be surprised, this is, this is correct, I'll be surprised myself. He, he used to carry like a big coin and he could turn little coins into big coins. It was like little magic tricks he'd do for- He did a lot of magic tricks. For the kids, yep. all right? And I know very much so, as I'm, as I'm just saying that there, you, you, where this, I love to say that this, this nurse just keeps coming here as well. Okay. Now, where your nurse is concerned, the, I felt there should be cancer there before she passes to yes. the spirit world. All right. And I know I, I, this is this is a bit strange, but I actually feel like your brother-in-law and your, the nurse. I'm not, I'm not saying they, that they got together, but there was definitely like 
an attraction there. They had a bond. Between the two of them. Does that make sense? Because I feel that as I come. And now with your, with, with your nurse, I actually thought I want to be more like a, like a matron or like I want to be in charge of She people. was in charge. Yeah, okay. and you're right. She had that like bossy way about her. Correct. But she really knew how to keep your brother-in-law in line. Yep. And to keep him kind of calm. Yeah. That makes sense. And yeah. I, I, I know um, when she becomes ill, I actually feel your, your brother-in-law should still be here when he was. she's yeah. ill because I feel like I want to go and help her and support her through that illness, you understand. True. And very much here that the, there was this, so that friendship that they had developed, it, they became quite inseparable in, those latter, in that latter part of her life. Okay. I would say yes. And I know um, this is the fi- this is the feeling that that I have here. It's like they're both married. They both got their own families, mm-hmm. and they would never disrespect that or be disloyal in that way. But in the same way, they really loved each other. I have to say that. I would say yes. Okay. And I know that that that, that friendship is, was in that way. Mm-hmm. And just one final thing here. Um, as I'm just becoming aware, becoming aware of, um, oh, okay, I, I'm going to go with this because it, it's this feeling that just com- comes. Now, you should have a photograph of the three of you together. I do. Okay. But I actually felt a, on one, there should be a memory of going to like, um, like a carnival or like a, a fun fair. Yep. The three of you together. The last thing we did together. Okay. Now, would you remember, do you know when you get those like boards with the holes in, with the faces, and you put your face yeah. in, like a big guy, a little woman, and a clown? There I must be a photograph with the three of you putting your heads in these holes. Not me, but them. But them too. Okay. Then give me that, because that's what I want. It's, it's a very British <laughs> thing, eh? that's what I kept wanting to, to talk about there. And I know, um, you know, know that they're very much together in the spirit world again it's the same sort of message for you too is with you I, I know we've been looking and planning for the future and in many ways I, I know there's this desire there within you to want to make big changes to your life but more to do about where you're living and spending your time in different places does that Correct. make sense yes yeah and I know you keep putting it off mm-hmm. because you feel it's too much of a risk, too much of a gamble to, to make those decisions. But your brother-in-law, not that he has the best advice, of yeah. course. I mean, <laughs> he, <laughs> he lost everything. <laughs> but he very much wants you to take that risk, you understand. Okay. <laughs> All right. And, um, and I'm to trust him. <laughs> and and, uh, and just, one, just one last thing here. Um, I, I, I feel you, you, you was take me back about two or three years ago, and did you not visit like um, Las Vegas a couple of years ago? Yes, I did. Right, okay, because he was there with you, and <laughs> and if I'm if I'm correct, when you was in Las Vegas, you you, was, you enjoyed playing like blackjack. No, not me. I watched it though. You watched it. Yeah. Okay. Then the only thing I can I can say about this is, I'm not saying you won the big jackpot. I. Uh, but yeah. I, I want to win like not not not. not well, what do you mean that? I'm not saying you won like the million dollar jackpot, but you must have won one of the smaller jackpots and the machines. I did okay, and the yeah. girl I was with won a jackpot. Won a jackpot because I know I was very happy for you. For you, you understand, but. <laughs> uh, I think you just had better luck than I did. I think that's what it was. <laughs> but I know that's there, and I know very much still around, still wanting to be part of your life, you understand. And I'll tell my sister she'll be happy for will that. Will always one. be there <laughs> for you, all right? Um, I'll leave his love there. Thank and you. And your friend as well, so thank, thank you for you. working with me.